everybody. This is Ozark Zero, and I'm Grizzly Moon. Uh, playing a little Skyrim and getting here today. And uh, today, I believe I've found my new perch. Uh, whenever I put the house up, there there was a spot over here, right over there in the corner, where I used to perch on a rock. But uh, whenever I put the main part of the house in, or started to, with these uh, sig twigs and st uh, string. They, they they moved my rock, it's gone. They kicked it out, so I had to find myself someplace new to stand. And so, I've chosen over here just on the ledge. There's a couple of pointy places around, but uh, right here, if I sneak right up to the edge, I've got a nice view over the evil altar. I can see an island beyond in the in the river flowing out of the lake. There's Shriekwind, Bra oh, I mean, uh, Bleak, Hollow ba Bleak Hollow Barrow uh, up on the hill, which was the first place we came whenever we started uh, learning the path of the Dovahkiin. So, we can look back fondly on our past. Remember when we first started doing all this? Long, long ago. And, uh, you may not have been all there for all of that. In fact, there's not a playthrough for most of it. But, now we're here on Hearthfire. We're building ourselves a house. We went last time and got some ore that we needed so we can make ourselves a lock. And uh, I've brought it all back, put it in the chest. On my way back here, I did stop by in Riften. And uh, from, from Mr., uh, what's his name? It was Honeyhand? Uh, the little uh, general store there in Riften, by the river. I bought some goat horns from him, and some glass, and some straw. So I think we can make some other things on here as well. But first, we need... I don't think we used this just yet. I believe we'll have to actually build the house before we can do anything else yet. Uh, we need to first make a lock, was what we need to be doing, so let's go down here, building materials, there we go, lock, yeah, let's go ahead and make one more thing of nails while we're at it, okay, never have too many nails, we got a lot of building to do, so we're going to get some more stuff done today, we're actually going to make this house go, and uh, kind of want walls for everything, but uh, there we go, what do I need that I don't have, oh, quarry stone, which is all in the chest, that's fine. So I put a front door, a hall door on this part. So can I get in there from now? Yep. So there we go. Now we can start laying some foundation down. All right. And uh, you know, I got some more plants while I go too. Let's go ahead and get some more of our garden growing while we're at it here. What do we got there that's growing? Snowberry. And then that was thistle and then some more snowberry. So over here in the corner, Let's plant us, uh, what do we, oh, I got a bunch of stuff, goodness. Let's plant some death bell, that's one of my favorites. I planted, okay. Now can I plant multiple items? Let's try. I'll plant some lavender here, and some nightshade. Oh no, okay. I can only plant one thing, so I planted nightshade there and bell flower in the corner, so, um, I mean death bell. Here I'll plant some lavender. I don't remember what everything done. It's been far too long since I've played. But that's okay. In here, what we also got? We got some thistle. I think that's what we have on the other side of the snowberries there. So that's we got plenty of thistle. Um, let's plant some purple mountain flower. Okay. And uh Plant some canis root uh, in right there, and then we'll have some nice. Uh, we'll put some mushrooms down. Oh, that's not what I meant to plant. Um, I don't want red mountain flower really. Well, why not? We got everything else planted, so there we go. There's some, something's in all of our garden. We'll watch it grow. And what we need to? Oh, no, no, no! Back out. I need some stone first. I need to get stone out of the chest. Uh, and I might as well go ahead and grab some of this clay while I'm at it. Um, not all of it. I'm going to go down and grab 22 clay. And then go get some quarried stone. There we go. I'm going to roll all that evenly out. At 48, that'll work. I'm at carrying capacity, but that's fine. I'm going to use some of it right now. I'm going to use 30 of it. To make the house foundation. Let's check that out. There we go. A little bit of grass growing through the floor, but that'll be fine. We'll put some flooring down next. 
so we got ourselves an entryway and we got ourselves the start of a foundation and you know what uh no oh i forgot i changed all my stuff around a while ago i need to go back in and put uh let's actually put the rune on my left hand and the wall of storms on my right hand there we go that way I can remember it better. I'm more likely to use the uh, right hand. I'm just going to charge up my foundation here. There we go. Okay. Maybe just a little more right there. Okay, perfect. Now, we need a floor. Dun, dun, dun. Let's see, flooring. Do -do -do. House main floor, yes. And we need some more nails to put up the next bit. So we're going to go ahead and get those nails going, even though we're not going to quite do that just yet. So I'm going to look at the floor first. Okay, there's some nails. Let's go look at the floor we put in. There we go. Yeah, see, now we don't have that line run down the middle here. The line leads you into this part, which then is open, and we've got a three by three by three by one, two, three, four, five, six. So a three by three by three by three by three by three by six. Uh, a three by six is what I mean to say. Okay, let's go put us some pillars in. Everybody needs pillars, yes. What we got misc over here. Still just those two things. Okay, let's go check out our pillars. Woohoo, there we go. Now we're talking Parthenon. Okay. Oh, goodness. And am I going to have to charge all these pillars up? That's going to be a heck of a thing. Maybe if I just give a little bit on each one up there, it'll be just fine. I'm not sure why I started on that one. Oh, I missed that one. Oh, there we go. Uh, a little bit over here, a little bit over there. circle. It's all charged up. We got our floor in here, which is fantastic. Make sure it's a nice. This floor is absolutely shocking. I can't believe that how lame that is. Anyways, uh, I think next we're putting up walls. Are we ready for walls already? I don't know. I kind of like that. Yeah, let's give us some of the walls. Why not? We'll splurge. Um, second floor supports. Interesting. You know what? Let's go ahead and get those before we get walls even. And uh, the roof framing. There we go. Look at that. Oh, goodness gracious me. We got a double stairwell here. Nice. I am liking this. There we go. Nice lightning rune right in the middle. Charge up the second floor. There we go. A little bit of storm in all those beams. So, I guess this part here will be open. So we can uh, look up and look down. And vice versa. Sure we can that beam right there. Uh, my, there we go. Okay. I got that one in there. Okay. Now my beams are charged. The floor is charged. The second floor is charged. Um, let's go ahead and slap a rune on the side of the house. Since it's going to be meeting up with this, let's put some walls in. And heck, we'll almost have ourselves a house. Let's see. What do I need? I need more nails. Goodness. I've had to make quite a bit of nails. Well, I mean, we're doing a bunch of work, though, so... At the end of this, we're actually going to have a whole friggin' little house enclosed, and I think we'll have rooms we can make beds in and stuff. What do we make? I think I said I needed 20-something, so let's 
just make three sets of nails, which will be 30, right? So can I make first level walls? Yep. Let's back up and see that. So now I can't get in there. It's all closed in. Yes, the revolve. So I want to go look. Um, I want to go look and see if it, it, there's no way I can get up to that second story. But hmm, if I were to get in there, would it just be nothingness? Probably. It probably would be non-loaded material. I'm not supposed to be able to get in there. Let's just go ahead and put our second four walls in. Although I kind of like that. That is nice. We want more. We want more. I can go inside and go through a load screen. We can go up there and check it out. Um. But gosh, I don't know. I want to do that there's nothing inside yet right it's just it's just dark and empty in there oh let's just go let's go we'll go inside we'll go check it out even though we have to go through a load screen or maybe two load screens so I have to go from this room into the next room is it still an outside thing <sighs> so many questions so many load screens actually not so bad this time this one, I think, this is our first load screen? I don't know. I always complain about them regardless. Just because it's, it's fun to complain sometimes. If you haven't complained today, give her a go. So does this take me right back out? Yes. So yeah, our, our bottom part's non-finished. I don't want to do that part yet. We'll decorate later. I've got some horns and some glass and a bunch of other crap that I, all the crap I can basically find to buy. Um, I think all I got at the shop was just basically the horns, the glass, and the straw. I also bought a kettle and a roll of paper while I was there. But I think that's just random junk. But uh, I'll put the kettle out in the kitchen, wherever. Uh, unless it already has a kettle. And I'll stick a roll of paper in the corner somewhere. Although, while I'm thinking of it, whenever we get outside, I do need to do something before I forget. Which is to get one thing out of my inventory. Because, even when I could jump back here from Riften, I, I wasn't recording, but when I jumped in, there was a stag in front of the house. The same stag that's always there, that's always sneaking about. Maybe he'll be here when we go outside now. Let's see. But anyways, I think it may be the, the ghost of that one stag from the very, very beginning. That uh, the stag that was sacrificed down on that altar. Every time I load in or come outside, it seems like he's just there looking at me. And he'll be looking at me for just a second. Like, I know. And then he'll run off. Look, look, look. There he goes. See? He's shifty. Now, I'm sure I could probably go hunt that guy down. But, uh, there he goes. Off in the distance. You probably can't see him, but I can. He's still way... There, nope, there he went. Mysterious. Okay, so we're going to put us in some second floor walls, and then be done with this all. Um, we need more nails for a roof still. Oh, goodness gracious me. Okay, um, let's go ahead and just knock us up some more nails really quickly so we can get this bit done. There's a bunch of freaking nails. Are you happy, game? I've got a bunch of nails now. Which, don't get me wrong, I dig the fact that this game makes me make nails so I can make my stuff. Ooh, I can put a cellar in if I had 50 quarried stone. Let's, uh... No, 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 we'll wait. We'll put a cellar in later because maybe a cellar would be a good place for evil. And we need to focus on it a little more than just slap a dash in there. Oh, look, 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 we've got a big headstone now. Ha, 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 look at that. We have a dragon head adorning the top of our double-storied house. We've got some place to really frickin' live. That is awesome. Right there, buddy. Oh, yeah. Okay. This is a house. Yes, indeed. 
I'm already, I'm already getting filled with schemes and, and desires and things to be fulfilled and, and uh, plans to be implemented, plots to be hatched. Oh, it'll be fantastic. We have, uh, I believe, let's see, we, we've got three on this side now. We've got three gables on our entryway. we got two on the big house. So we're up to five gables. We're getting closer. We've almost got uh, a true evil dwelling. I'm not going to go in yet. We'll go explore next time, and I've got some decoration stuff so we can get some of that going. I'm so excited. I can't believe it. Anyways, guys, let's head back over here to our perch rock. <sighs> Fantastic. We've actually got a house going. Down there with the evil altar. That's where the, the sacred stag died that now haunts our house. Maybe he wants to tell us something. Maybe he's got a quest for us. Who knows, but we've got some place to live. Whoa. Did the shadows just do that because I moved my camera? Did you guys see that? Was that... Whoa. That was weird. Anyways, uh, this has been Grizzly Moon. And uh, thanks, guys, for watching. Leave comments below. Uh, if you like, subscribe. Have a pleasant evening.